All right, back by popular demand, we have How to Walk in Flow Motion, Part 2. In this video, we are going to look at how to place your foot like you're walking on a cloud. In my last flow motion video, I showed how to use your rib cage in order to improve the flow of your walking. And so when I say the rib cage, I mean the abdominal core muscles that you use to rotate your left or right side forward as you walk. Let me demonstrate. I'm using my abdominal core muscles that rotate the upper abdomen to rotate the rib cage forward to guide my steps when I walk. The more we engage these upper abdominal muscles, the better your flow is going to be. So we have our upper abdominal rotation leading our steps, but we have two other components of the core that are responsible for helping to Make that step land very gently like you're walking on a cloud. The first thing we have to recognize is at the end of each step, we are not crashing our heel into the ground with any forward momentum. At the end of each step, my leg swing is essentially in the air with my heel just off the ground. Now I can't balance in one position at the end of an actual step, so I'm just taking it back a little bit so I can show you. My heel will be just off the ground at the end of a step, and then I'm going to use that core rotation to bring the foot down. It's not my legs that are causing the foot to come down, it is my upper abdominal rotation because what's happening is as I step forward with my right leg, my left side of the core is forward. The right side of the core is relatively back, which helps keep this leg up off the ground. What's gonna place the heel down in a gentle, soft fashion is rotation of this side of the core. So my right side of the core turning forward is going to bring the heel to the ground in a soft and gentle fashion. You're also going to see my right arm is going to start to swing forward as that happens and that's because the core is rotating and generating that flow of the arms. From the side view in this semi-artificial balanced position I'm going to rotate the core forward on the right and it brings the heel to the ground. That is the very first part of the initiation of a step forward. I have to bring the foot down in a soft fashion. So a key difference from the way a lot of people walk is that that heel placement is not the end of the previous step. It is the beginning of the next step. When we don't use our core properly, what happens is that foot placement becomes the end of the previous step. I lean forward, I push off, I hit the heel, and then now I start to walk again, and I hit the heel, and then I start to walk again. When we walk correctly, the step ends here, we flow into that, and then I use my core to rotate to bring the foot down. After I set the foot down, then I have to change weight. That's the second part of the step that's going to help you flow fluidly. That change of weight is controlled by my lower abdominal rotation. Remember, I've talked in a lot of my other videos about rotation being the central point of how we move and do any activity correctly. So I have my upper core rotation that's going to place the foot down on the heel. Then I have my lower core rotation that's going to change the weight. So currently, I am tucked with my lower abs on my left leg. And now I'm going to rotate that core energy from the left side to the right side. And that is going to change the weight from my left leg which is rooted now, to my right leg, which is rooted now. So I 
place the foot with rotation of the upper core. I tuck using my lower abs on the right to change the weight. And then I'm gonna lift from my right hip to lift the body forward. And that's gonna conclude the step. So really I have three components. I have a turn, a tuck, and a lift. And then I start over again with another turn, a tuck, and a lift. We have turn, tuck, lift. Turn, tuck, lift. Rotation of the upper core, rotation of the lower core, activation of the standing hip. Rotation of the upper core, rotation of the lower core, flexion or lifting forward from the active hip. Three components to each step. In slow motion, I'm walking with the turn, tuck, lift. From the side view, you see that the heel is off the ground at the end of the step. And then we lower the heel consciously with the core and the faster we rotate the core and the faster we tuck, the faster the step is gonna be. That's how we control our movement. We are not at the mercy of gravity. And if you've got this far in the video and you already haven't clicked that subscribe button, please do that now. Like this video, share this video, click the bell if you wanna get notifications for my future videos. Thank you for watching.